Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate Today we're gonna get ready to paint the Challenger, the outside of it. As you can see, I already done painted the jams of it. I haven't painted the hood and the deck lid jams. That's why I'm not gonna put the hood and deck lid back on. I'm gonna paint those when I paint the car. But I gotta paint the bumpers first. I got the front bumper over here. I'm not gonna paint it with the car. I'm gonna paint the shepherds. But I'm gonna fill these holes up here. And also, it's two spots up here that I seen. It's been repaired before. It's two spots. It's a spot here. It's like bent down. So I'm going to put a little glaze and put on it. Build it back up on the east side. And I got the back bumper here. My son been out here sanding. It. Well, he ain't sanding this back bumper. So he's going to have to get on that. But while he's sanding that, I'm going to take this inside and do my repairs. We got the doors back on. I actually put them on yesterday, but it started raining, so it kind of put me behind. But now, let me show you. You see, when I sprayed these jams, I got a tape line, so I'm gonna have to wet sand it out, and I'm gonna be using 400 grit on the block. It's not gonna take much to get it out. But we need to feather edge that paint line because if we don't, when we paint the outside of it, it's going to show that line. So, so we're going to get that out. It's on this side. It's also on this side. On both doors. So let's take care of that. Done with the feather edge. Now I get me some soap and water and wash them tire off. Just finished cleaning it up. Now I'm gonna put it in the shop, let it dry up. Then I start masking. should be good and dry then we'll start the masking it's really not much to mask we got to mask this engine bay off the glass the jams so we don't get no old spray up in here and on this glass we gonna fold this weather stripping up we're gonna fold it back and tape it to the glass so we can get paint up in there also up in here as well. And what we're gonna be using, I got some painless plastic, also the mask and tape here, mask and paper, that's about it. We're gonna get started on it. Let me show you the progress on the masking. I done got the lights done, also trimmed it out. I'm just gonna run some plastic over the whole entire car including the roof because as you can remember I had already painted the roof but on this molding I got to pull it back with tape so I can get paint inside won't have no paint line also along the roof and I'm doing this now I'm using a rope to keep this molding here off the uh, body so I won't have no paint line you can see I got to lift it up there with this rope on this back, I just got the trunk mask off. 
taking my mask to exhaust off, but all this here, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm doing the jams now. Just finished up with the masking. I'm going to walk around the car. Show you what we've done. It's been coming up right here, though, but we been putting more tape on it. I think it's good to go now. Now we'll take some wax and grease remover and wipe everything down. As you can see, fingerprints from my hand, from masking, all over the car. That grease. And here's the wax and grease remover here, what we're gonna be using. The prep all. There you go. Ain't no need to run it. There you go. You can wipe it on and wipe it off. Everything wiped down now. We're about ready to paint. But first, we got some cut throughs here. They happen during the sanding process. It's where the bare metal at. You don't want to paint directly over that bare metal. So we're going to take some self itching primer. And spray on those areas there. It's always good to have a can of this on hand. I'm just gonna go around and find all my bare metal spots. Don't take much. And the good thing, the color I'm going with is somewhat this color, so I'll be good on that. Fits and primer taken care of. I got my paint over here. It's by Eurocam. It's the Armor Green Low Gloss. I'm going to be spraying it out my Saddle Jet 5000B HVLP 1.3 tip.
I got the rear and the front bumper staged up to ready to be painted. As you can see I repaired this area. I done primed it, wet sanded it, also this area here. And filled the holes. And I'm gonna paint these pieces here. They go in the hood. I'm gonna paint them green as well. And here's the rear bumper. I didn't bother about sanding this here because it's a piece that go on the bottom. It's going to be covered up. But we're ready for some paint now. been about 
guess about two and a half hours, maybe three, since I painted it. I'm going to start unmasking everything, such as around my trim. Especially up in here. I don't want the paint to harden up. Then I start unmasking and peel the paint up. Once I get it unmasked, I'm going to pull it out tomorrow. It ain't got dark on me now, so I'll pull it out tomorrow and get another look at it. Start with the unmasking. I'll cut it back on in the morning, then I'll pull it outside. Right from the bottom to the top, from the top, from the ground up, we right from the bottom. Right from the bottom. 